Hello, hello. Yes, it is me. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is your one-stop shop to build your business and run an awesome online platform. More specifically, welcome back to a car park. I'm filming another video today, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very sad video. I've already filmed this once. There was a camera error. James has just run over my GoPro, so we're gonna run through this very, very quickly. I'm not joking, look. That is not a good evening. This is an expensive evening. It's my fault, so I'm gonna have to you've, buy you've a new one. You've run over all of it. Like the mounts, the GoPro, the lot. I mean, that is, I mean, that is. I'm not in the best of moods, it's got to be said. I wasn't before we started this video. Anyway, James, what are we doing? We this are is my... about my Turbo S, which unfortunately will be leaving the stable very soon. Uh, it's time for a replacement. And, okay. well, it may not leave, but it probably will leave. And um, we're just talking about it and why it's the best car I've ever owned. And we were going to go for a drive, but there's a GoPro all over the floor in pieces. So we're now... the car park. And that's my fault entirely. That's an expensive night. How much are they? God knows, who cares? I uh, do. Well, yeah, you will, because you're going to be buying it. Come all this way, and I'll buy a new GoPro anyway. Let's well. get some views as well, so we can get some adsense yeah, out there. Maybe I'll chuck a sponsor at the start. That'll do. So then, we are discussing you getting rid of this car. Why are you getting rid of this? Should we go around it? Let's do yeah. that. I'm actually fuming. That GoPro's been everywhere with me, James. So I'm, I'm, I'm really going to miss it. It pains me that I've hurt, I've hurt that. And it's, no. <laughs> you, you don't seem like you care that much. Uh, you got to see the funny side of it because it's expensive. No, honestly, I'm absolutely fuming. I really don't even want to be filming right now. <laughs> right, okay then. Let's talk about this Turbo S. We've done this once, right? So really, really quickly. We have literally just filmed this for about five minutes, and then I saw that, and then I dropped this camera, and so this is probably going to. Yeah. Let's just do a whistle stop tour of why this Turbo S is slightly different. Yep. Obviously, it's in gloss black. It's got the full aero kit, which is quite a rare option. Yes. The exterior options. James. It's got PDSL, which is the black headlight surrounds there. Horse dynamic and it's got a different um, setup in front of the lights there, which makes a massive difference. We've got full um, carbon interior as well, which is where it comes alive. But before we get inside, we have OEM GT2 RS side skirts on the car, which I haven't seen another one have on, which for me makes a massive difference. Gloss black air intakes. Lovely. These were from JCR Porsche, by the way, if anyone's asking. This door is locked and the key is in the thing. GT2 RS side skirts, very, very nice. Come inside. God's Tom. sake. Yeah, I'm coming around, just minding where I'm stepping. I'll clear it up. No, no, no. So we have worry. full carbon. So we've got carbon door sills. Yep. Here. We've got carbon interior extends on the door. Yep. We've got carbon steering wheel, which I've not seen another one with. I've not um, seen that either, James. And then, thanks, Tom. And then we've got the sports carbon, the sports buckets with the carbon backs here, which again is a rare option. One of these for me. Yeah, that's money, mate. To have a car that is one of the quickest supercars. I'm going to call it a supercar. Back commercial. seats as well. We've got sunroof as well, uh, boy. Yeah. Oh, very key option. I forgot to mention. Yeah. Lovely. Um, so yeah, I think we can put, um, we haven't put the um, little spoiler up either, which makes it Should we do that? Get the air kit up there, boy. Lovely, we'll have and that. A lot of people don't realise that also puts an uh, apron on the front as well. Does it now? Should we go around the front? Let's have a look. So when you do that, the Turbo S apron comes out the front. Ah, yeah, I like that, James. Tom, I've always do you know how this extends? What's behind it? No, James. It's like a bike inner tube that inflates. All right, mate. Okay. Yep, very good. Should we uh, get her fired up? Yeah, so the other change to this car which people moan about is the exhaust, which is what we tried to fill a second ago. We had that fixed with Quicksilver. Is that enough? Uh, I think that'll probably do it. Yeah, why don't you go for a drive and get the hell away from me? That was horrible. what he was doing last time round, my GoPro was on the floor and he ran it over. I so, but no, you can run back over it if you want, I really don't no, care. I've done enough damage. 
No, it's fine. Is that that laptop? Yeah, it was, James. It was. No, that'll do it, I think. Thank you very much. Interestingly, it does not have to be as bow all the time. So, if I turn this little manatino. Yeah, you call it that, from whatever. Sport. Oh. And again, do you want to go to the back and just have a comparison to Yeah, it? yeah, please do. Yep. I mean, I can hear some changes there. Yes, very nice. Thanks, James. Very nice demo there, boy. Thank you. Thanks very much. I'm going to make up something. I'd rather go for it. I mean, is that you being sympathetic? I don't think it is, is it? It's doing laps of the car. Anyway, jokes aside, I genuinely think it is the best spec traverse available. Yeah. It's not me trying to sell it, by the way, it's sell itself. It's not. This isn't the sales pitch, this is genuinely me upset. No, because you don't actually want to sell it, and I don't no. want you to sell it either. And interestingly, What's interesting? I don't know what I can replace it with that won't disappoint me. I think most things are going to disappoint you now, definitely in terms of outright pace and kind of usability and just a car that car people love and it looks cool to non-car people, but you just don't look like a bell in it, do you? Really? It's just, I can't, I should probably clear that up. But I just think, yeah, you know, it's one of these cars, it's just all things to all men and you just don't look like a Wally driving around in it. It's just a very, very cool car and the Turbo S is just an icon. And residually, it's very good news. You've had this, what, a year? Yeah, I've had a year. What will you put it up for? What would you say you'd lost in terms of uh, depreciation in a year? We'll see when it sells, but next to nothing. Oh, I'm gonna say next to nothing. I mean, as people know, I don't- Five grand, 10 grand, zero? Nearer the last thing. Zero. So that, but they, people yeah. People troll us, you don't use your car, you don't daily them, the garage queens. But listen, let me tell you free of charge. Yep. The reason why they hold value is because I look after it. Yep. I don't put mega miles on it and I keep it in great condition. So make of that what you will. But that's my reason for not dailying it when I do, you know, 900 miles in six weeks on a scooter. Why would I put it on that? Yeah, exactly, James. And Thank like, you, and your enjoyment comes out of actually just looking after it. Some people's enjoyment is derived from putting it through a tire wall yeah, at Silverstone. Yeah, like and, and you enjoy looking after your things. Yeah. And, and you know what? You've worked for it, so, so why should you? Do why, please, lad. Yeah, and what, why should you enjoy it as though other people would enjoy it? It's not, for their, it's not for them to comment on. It's like people telling you what to eat for dinner and how to eat it. And if we want it's to drive over a GoPro, we will. If you want to drive over it, that's only a Hero 4, James. Well, <laughs> It's still going to be costly. I mean, this video is costing me a lot of money, Tom. Uh. Don't worry, I'll give you some of the AdSense, lad. So then, we need to cover this. Is the question they're all going to be asking, why on earth are you selling it? Do you know what? I know it sounds ridiculous, but I don't even know the reason, other than the fact I normally like to keep a car about a year. Yep. And we do an annual trip, as people may or may not know. We normally go over to Monaco, we drive some nice mountain roads, and I fancy doing it in something different this year. And there's not a realistic chance of having this and an additional car, because I don't use this as much as it is, so it'd have to be replaced. Yep. So that's one of the main reasons. I just fancy, I like change. I, I fancy change and someone else can enjoy the car. Um, so yeah, I think there's no reason why I'm selling it really. I know that sounds ridiculous. No, that's fine. You don't have to, it might, it, might, it might be the case that I think actually I'm going mad, I'm not gonna ever replace this car. But yeah. as you've done, when you like a car, you can return to it in the future. It yeah. may not be the same, it may be, not be as good as this, it won't be, but I can still experience the turbos again at some point if I want to. Absolutely, yeah, it might be one of those things. It, t it takes you getting rid of it to realise this is actually kind of a, a keeper type car. Yeah. So it, it's not the sort of thing where you won't be able to get another one. Maybe you'll struggle to find that spec, to be honest, and, and you will. Yeah. Or maybe the person you sell it to will let you have it back at some point. Yeah, stranger things are happening. I yes. tried that with Joseph on my F12, but it didn't work. I had to go buy another one. But yeah, no, it's, I, I get it. And also, you're at the stage of your life where you can experiment, you can get loads of different cars, and you can mess around being irresponsible. Yeah, exactly. um, and I, I personally just want to try as many as possible and work out what I like and just tick all the boxes, really. Really at the point, uh, point in life where you've got no responsibility, so I don't want to get can. it. Although you will regret getting rid of it, but I want to see you getting something else, so who cares. For the budget then, what, what are you saying this time around? About 100, not going too silly? Yeah, I mean, I might buy two things. So that might confuse, or one will be two wheels probably, I and one will be four wheels. So I quite like that, so I don't know. I don't, what I don't think is you have to spend more to get more enjoyment. Necessarily. Doesn't mean I won't. Yeah. No. I know I've worked that out. But like as in there could be amazing cars at the 80 grand bracket, there might be some cool cars at 100, 120, 150, 160. I like F12s. So do I boy. I do like F12s. Everyone on my um, channel loves F12s. But I think as well. having had this car, I'd die in an F12. Yeah, Because I mean, this will grip. Yeah, if yeah, I do yeah. that do what I do or have done in this car, put my foot down at all in anything greasy, I'm in a wall. So maybe yeah, yeah, the F12 will get you. Yeah, it's nearly killed me so many times. You can't. Four or eight, nine. That was very, 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 very. 
and still nowhere near as much so as the F12. The F12 is the twitchiest thing I've ever driven. It's chaos. And apparently, so, the TDS yeah. is even worse. It'd be interesting to see what people think. Interesting to pe see oh, what people wow. think. And don't say GT3 RS. I like not having a track focused car. I love them, but it's not for me. R8 V10 Plus, I think, is a very, 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 very good car for me. What do you money. think? What do you think? Yep. In like, the comments, let cool. me know. A black town, one of those. No front plate that falls off all the time, I think. Nothing I, can compete at that price. I don't think so. MG GTRs are nearly 100k now. They're very good as well. But again, it's that doesn't get the power down, squirms in a wall. They're very good though. I very do like good. the MG GTR. Anyway, let us know in the comments and also two wheeled edition will be aggressive. So that'll be very exciting. This is one day well. coming soon that as well. And maybe I'll do my bike license and join you at some point. Yeah, For I'm now though, mate, my arm's about to fall off. Can I end this? Yeah, I need to start sweeping up as well because we've got a clear up operation. We need to go to Curry's Land. Are they open at, what time is it? Um, yeah, they might be, and it's not. But, you know, I'll go online and get one next day for the free lab. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't really care. I do. All right. Anyway, thanks for that. Cheers for breaking my GoPro and taking me to St. Louis Car Park. I feel honoured. Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe. Make sure you follow him on Instagram because he is an absolute nonsense on there, and he does a lot of fitness stuff actually as well, way more than me, which you'll probably be able to gather from his shape versus mine. Although my rig is coming back. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao for now. Bye. Now, as I touched on at the beginning of this video, this video was actually brought to you by Squarespace. I've mentioned Squarespace before with good reason. Many of you will be following me, not just for the cars, but for the online business bits and bobs that I do. Most notably, recently, I set up a new business called Crepchi Notify, which lots of you will know about. However, the mechanics behind setting up that website was actually with Squarespace. Squarespace has got loads of different features which enabled you to set up a website, run your website, and do so making maximum efficiency, making sure what you're doing is making the maximum effect in terms of revenue and also to be honest, it just looks nice. So it's got loads of different features. The first feature of which I really, really enjoy is when you're time pressured, the last thing you want is having to do things live. So updating your website and putting it out straight away. What it means you can do, you can backlog work. When you've got a load of time on your hands, you can backlog blog posts and whatnot and content to go on your website and that will be put out at a certain time. So you can actually schedule that to go out. Very useful feature. The next thing is subscriptions. And this particularly applies to and this particularly applies to Crepchief, that is a subscription model. That is something that you can do on Squarespace and set up very, very easily. Again, subscriptions, very, very powerful, and that builds a value to a business very quickly as well. Love the subscription model, and that is very simple on Squarespace. Another thing you can do on there is you can assess traffic. You can analyze the traffic that's coming into the website so you can make sure that people aren't bouncing straight away, there aren't dead links, you can see what content's working, what content isn't working, you can see where the traffic's coming from. Loads of cool stuff, so that is really, really helpful as well. And another thing I find really useful and works very, very well in online business, e commerce is email campaigns that is a, that is where actually a lot of people go wrong and email campaigns you can set them up within the Squarespace interface as well again super super simple really cool so then if you're curious and you want to set up your own business your own website head over to Squarespace right now I'll leave the link below and it's a specific link you have to hit that link you'll get a free trial and when you're ready to get going properly you'll also get a discount with my code all the details are below and I say it won't work if you don't use that link this may be the final time I mention this so make sure you go and take full advantage of that if you're looking to start a website imminently get in the mix, get involved and start familiarizing yourself with how to set a website up on there because it really couldn't be, it really couldn't be any simpler. Get in the mix and go for it. And before I actually go, I need to explain why on earth I look 14 years old. I was filming a shoot today. I can't really say too much about it. It's a household name, but I was filming and doing some studio stuff for a new campaign. So that will be coming very soon, but I do apologize for the it's actually quite nice. I'm quite enjoying it. Although I do look about 14. Anyway, I'm actually going to go now. Bye.